Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Fuzz of Malinki. Today I will talk about in vitro fertilization or IVF. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So basically, IVF is an assisted reproductive technology. It assists in reproduction. So an egg and a sperm are fertilized outside a woman's body in the laboratory is called IVF. IVF was first successfully performed in 1978. Let's see the steps of IVF. First is stimulation or superovulation. Second, retrieval of egg and sperm preparation. Third, egg fertilization. Fourth, embryo development and fifth embryo transfer so we will talk about them one by one first is stimulation or super ovulation so normally a woman produces one egg per month in the menstrual cycle for IVF multiple eggs should be generated in a month and that is actually done by injecting follicle stimulating hormone or FSH and multiple eggs are examined after that to pick the healthiest one. So egg is picked up in this way from the ovary. Next is retrieval of egg and sperm preparation. So eggs are retrieved from female and this is called transvaginal oocyte retrieval. The egg is then selected which has the highest chance of fertilization. So the quality of egg is checked and the sperms are extracted from semen that is the process called sperm washing. Here sperms are prepared. Next is egg fertilization. So the female egg and the male sperm are incubated together for fertilization and zygote is formed. Next is embryo development. The fertilized egg divides to form an embryo. Just like this. Next is embryo transfer. After 5 to 6 days of fertilization, the embryo is transferred to the uterus. The embryo is transferred through a catheter which goes up through the vagina and cervix into the womb. Embryo sticks to the uterine lining and pregnancy occurs. Let's see the applications of IVF. So basically IVF is an option if someone has fallopian tube damage or blockage, ovulation disorders, endometriosis, uterine fibroids, previous surgery to prevent pregnancy, issues with sperm, unexplained infertility or a genetic disorder. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.